Uh huh. A pistol, a pistol. Well, I'll see if the night is this. June 29, 2019. Spread out the gospel. The Pentecost always represented Israel crucified in Christ. Just want to make sure that's known. Pentecost was that day and act. Holy Ghost stories outpouring on true saints. Now, beware of the enemy that tries to cause the score between you and the Most High, between you and God. Because, see, causing the score among the brethren, it's not right. Of course, it's not right. But, you know, we all got that uh, selfish attitude at times, whether those want to admit it or not, and try to play. See, it's not about us trying to worry about our. Um, behavior right now. Of course, our behavior, we have, we have, you know, our behavior is up to us, as they say. You know, that's the point. You know, you got agnostics and atheists, like I always say, that act upright. So, so a person that's been Christian, brother Christ, they the light of Israel, a servant of the God of the Abraham, a um, servant of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, pardon me. You know, that's, you know, yeah, that's that's common. But what I'm trying to say is the score between you and the Heavenly Father. That's what you got to be aware of. You understand? Because see, this is the point. You have some try and come. Oh, and they'll, they'll try and pick. But see, like I said before, they're trying to cause the score between you and the Heavenly Father. That's the point. Because see, before you can cause, before you can cause the score, the score amongst the brethren, you would have to have caused it between you and the Heavenly Father. Because see, the Heavenly Father comes first. Whether someone admitted it or not, they can say things like, oh, you got to forgive your brother 77 times 7 and all that. I'm not saying that's not true. But see, let me tell you something. That's just like I said, that's like a person that tell lies. And they might not know they're lying. That's causing the score right there. Doesn't matter if you, if you know it or not. That's like a person speaking on hearsay. They really don't know what they're speaking on. So see, point blank is... It's not about, oh yeah, forgive me, brother, forgive your sister. <laughs> you got to glorify God first. Because if you glorify God, then you would know to do that. See, that's the point. Just like it's always uh, stated, we stumble at times because, yes, we know that already. So we're not talking about that. See, we're talking about God right now. See, if we, as a people, as the army of salvation, the army of Christ, was to be focused on God the most... We wouldn't have to tell each other how to act because we'd be following the leader in the first place. That's the point. Because if you're following God in the first place, then the Spirit is going to have you move in a certain manner anyway. See, those that's not following the Most High, then that's a different story. They would have to be instructed. But that's the point. So it's not about you, me, him, her, this, that, that, this. If you are praying like you're supposed to, fasting like you're supposed to, and fasting and praying and praying and praying and praying and praying until you stop worrying about people and stop worrying about flesh, then you understand what God really meant. Because you have to honor God first. You have to honor God first, glorify God first, cherish God first, obey Him first. Because if you can obey the Father, then you know what to do to, unto the, the children, the brothers and sisters. That's the point. So people can preach behavioral issues all day long. And then they, you know, right. Because see me, I would do like they did in the Old Testament. I would call that religious. Yeah, I'm going to call that religious. Since that's what y'all do. See, I actually know it's not religious. Anything God put on this green earth is not religious from the Old to the New Testament. Anything God does is not religious. Any command of God or Lord God is not religious. But since, you know, as I said before, many folk want to skip over God to say how to act. Skip over God to say how to act. That means you, you don't need God. So see, to tell you something, if you're following the follower, probably following the Father like you're supposed to, then we would all just be doing what God said because we, we would be obeying the Father anyway. We can't try to obey the Father by being good. Is an atheist <laughs> obeying the Father by being good? Oh, sure, he's obeying or she there obeying a law and a commandment that we all know in the first place. That's a moral act, right? So, before you say forgive this and forgive that, forgive this and forgive that, make sure God has forgiven you and make sure you're following God, then you can carry out them traits. And you don't gotta say, oh, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I don't gotta say, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, doing that. It's not about proving we're doing anything. You have to really be doing it. 
So, drop the religious act. Drop the religious act. And follow the Father. And once again, let God be the truth and every man be a liar. That goes for all of us. Brethren, stand up. Peace.